Four years in the making. That's right. The City Connect idea began in 2021. And tonight, the Phillies will unveil their City Connect uniforms. Not just the hats, not just the jerseys. The whole kit and caboodle. Back here at Citizens Bank Park, Christopher Sanchez set to take the mound. Uh, he will be the first pitcher to throw a pitch at Citizens Bank Park in the new City Connect uniforms. First pitch is hit high in the air to left. Whit Merrifield backing up a couple of steps. He's waiting. He makes the catch. One pitch. One out underway. Brian Reynolds is coming up. Reynolds was one for four last night with a single. Swing and a miss. Yeah. He did throw a better one. And two outs here in the first inning. Here's Brian Hayes. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. A heck of a start for Christopher Sanchez. A changeup is dancing. Bailey Falter gets the start for the Pirates tonight against his old club, making his 11th start in this ballpark, so plenty familiar. Kyle Schwarber will lead off here for the Phillies in the bottom of the first. Bouncer back toward the middle. That's going to get into center field a base hit. So he starts tonight basically the way he started last night. Just took a few more pitches. One for four in last night's ball game. Bounce to Hayes. Almost impossible to double up Turner, but they do it. Hayes had to get rid of it quickly. He did, so did Triolo around the horn. So two outs, and here's Bryce Harper. Harper 0 for his last 18. Hitting 196, three homers, seven runs batted in. Ball's ripped into right field, a base hit. So that ends the 0 for 18 for Bryce. Rob Thompson said it's all about timing with Bryce. He's hit some balls hard. Here's JT Romuto. And a ground ball sharply hit, but some ground ball action. Billy Falter, nice job. Nothing, nothing. Here's the righty batting Michael A. Taylor with McCutcheon on it first and two away. Back to the pitcher. Bobbles, bobbles, continues to bobble. Can't find it. Oh, my gosh. Not an easier play for a pitcher than that, and he just couldn't find the handle. The old juggling act, Greg. Let's see how many times he bobbles this ball. And uh, all of a sudden, after the air, they're now loaded. Davis now with them loaded. Henry Davis hitting 167. And now three and one. And he walked him, so he'll take that. And the Pirates will take the lead. One to nothing. Sanchez and the Phillies know that he should be back, and they should be back in the dugout after that comebacker by Taylor. But back-to-back -back walks and a one nothing Pirates lead. Pirates have a one nothing lead, go to the bottom of the second inning. Alec Bohm leads off for the Phils. He was in on his hands, and Reynolds coming in to make a sliding grab. Brian Reynolds is there. That ball looked like it was going to get down. Uh, Brian Reynolds does a nice job closing the gap. Got a little bit of wind blowing to the right center. Not a ton, but I think that was just enough to keep that ball in the air for an extra half second. To left field, here's Reynolds. Started the inning with a really nice play on Bohm. This one more routine. Bailey Falter, eight consecutive scoreless innings, tying a career best for him. Hard hit by Michael A. Taylor. And this is Triolo. Not as hard hit, but... Well placed, and Taylor's going to try for third, and he is going to be there. Head first dive, and he dove early and slid right into the bag, and it's first and third. Back to the top of the order for the Pirates. See if we can push something across here with two outs, and Connor Joe 0 for 2 so far on the day. And chops this to deep. Oh, a slip by Turner, and the Pirates take a 2-0 lead. <laughs> Turner tried to plant his foot. The ball in the hole, but it's a play we see Trey make and right there his left foot just slid look at his left foot right there he turned his ankle turned his too. ankle too landed awkwardly on that arm and hope he's okay Bailey Falter to work to Trey Turner that's into a haze to Triolo to Joe double play in the first gosh darn what a job Bailey Falter is doing here Going back to his last start he busted out his best pitch right here Ooh. after a lengthy at bat to Trey Turner much as breaking ball pretty much goes the entire width of the plate. Look at this. What an outing from Bailey Falter. This is back to back tremendous starts from the former Philly. It's 10 in a row sent down by Falter. Pirates enjoy a 2 0 lead as we go to the fifth. Bailey Falter in the spotlight here. The former Philly putting together back to back outstanding performances. A little pop up. Oh, hey. and what a play by Jared Triolo to hang on little snow cone action right there from Jared Triolo to secure this one that's the benefit of being as tall as Jared Triolo as a second baseman terrific yep. play got that big arm up there at the last moment opposite way well answering the call is Brandon Marsh 
Taylor gets it on the backhand. Marsh hustling on his way to second. He'll get there standing. Fifth extra base hit of the season for Brandon. It's his first double. Over to third is Marsh. Two outs. Bryson Stott is up with a runner at third. Phillies down 2 0 here in the fifth. Topper back toward the mound. Falter falters as he flips it wide at first after juggling it. Marsh scores. It's a 2 1 game. You see, he just. Well, it looked like he took his eye off of it there for a second, and then after he went to the ground, no chance of getting Bryson Stott. And the inning is over. Seven in a row retired by Sanchez. It's an eight-pitch inning. This is after a seven-pitch inning. And by the way, he has six strikeouts through six as we go to the home sixth inning. He's with six RBIs. Came in hitting 300. He's got two stakes on the table here. Gets away. Oh. My goodness. And off of Real Muto's wrist, he is hurt. JT Real Muto is hurt. The run scores, and now heading to first base, Hayes must have been called a strike. Hayes is surprised. It'll be a strikeout wild pitch. Now the concern is JT Real Muto. It's like JT sitting out there for a slider, and Marte throws a fastball oh, out, hitting man. right in. The... He's going to stay in. No. He is tough as he nails. Is, he's... He's yeah. tough as a toolbox. It doesn't, it's not just the nails. He's tough as everything in the toolbox. So now it's three to one. The Pirates have really been gifted three runs here tonight. It's the ugliest low scoring game I've ever seen. <laughs> it really is. But on here to face Bryson Stott. The Phillies have a man on at first. It's Nick Castellanos. Round ball diving stop by Connor Joe. What a play. And that ends the bottom of the seventh inning. This is quite possibly an RBI double or triple if it get, gets past Connor Joe. Huge play to move us into the eighth inning. Let's see if the Pirates spot in the order can get, get something going. Davis singled to start the seventh inning against Junior Marte. Came around to score. And there goes the runner Triolo to line drive. Base hit into left field for Henry Davis. And Jared Triolo going to be waved home by Rebello. He'll score without a play. And Henry Davis, a double and an RBI. And the Bucks take a 4-1 lead. Oh, and that's the hit you were looking for, especially from Henry Davis. Give you a little breathing room with Jared Triolo on the move in a 3-2 count. Pinto now faces Brian Reynolds. Lined up the middle, a base hit. This will bring home another run. Brian Reynolds rips it into center field. 5-1 Bucks. Well, the Phillies have two on with one out here in the eighth inning. Over all this chap and now 36 years of age he has walked one batter is all he's struck out eight. He's facing Harper here with two on. Lined in the right center field and coming on to make the diving catch is Brian Reynolds. What a play by B. Ray. Two outs. Oh, what a play B. Ray. Saw him made a, make a sliding catch early in the game in left field. Now over in right field making another terrific play. A frustrated Harper back to the dugout. Ball four. That'll load the bases up. So the tying run's coming to the plate. Crowd coming to their feet. Bases are loaded. Ball four. Forces in a run. It's a 5-2 game. Phillies are taking a page out of the Pirates book. Well, here's Brandon Marsh. One for three with a double and a run scored tonight. It's a 5-2 game. Break their heart. One ball, two strikes. He struck him out. There it is. He walks a couple, but he strikes out Marsh. Two up and two down, and now it's Whit Merrifield. David Bednar back on the mound, facing the Phillies after this third blown save. On Heartbreaker, a gut punch at PNC Park against the Tigers on Tuesday. Pops it up. Taylor coming in and squeeze it and raise the Jolly Roger. And a real feel good win and a real feel good save for the Renegade. And Bailey Falter, the former Philly, gets his first win of the year.